So once somebody goes into sudden cardiac arrest, it's usually an arrhythmia that is not compatible with life. So it could be uh, a heartbeat that's too fast. It could be a heartbeat that is just not there at all. So it could just a matter of just uh, cardiopulmonary arrest. I mean, it could be somebody just walking, talking, and all of a sudden they pass out. It could be an athlete on the field that all of a sudden, you know, they're performing at their best, and then all of a sudden they're not. And it could be somebody in their sleep, too. So sudden cardiac arrest, it, it can happen at any time of the day, and um, essentially it can happen at any time in somebody's life. So we have um, a whole different bunch of uh, monitoring modalities uh, to help determine if somebody's at high risk. So we have devices that are wearable. Um, some of the new watches now do EKGs. So when patients have symptoms, they can get a quick snapshot of the EKG, you know, wherever they are, at home or work. And sometimes we have devices that we can put on patients when they leave the office after they see us. They can monitor their heartbeat. And some of them, we actually have implantable uh, recorders that can actually monitor somebody for years and see if there's any arrhythmia. And I remember taking care of a patient just two weeks ago that had just that, was passing out. We put a recorder on them. We found out the rhythm problem that was causing it. And uh, we brought him to the electrophysiology lab and, and cured him. And some of these arrhythmias can be cured. And there's not a lot of... Uh, problems in cardiology where you can say that you know, you're not going to ever have this ever again. So it's definitely, it de makes a huge difference. So getting a good family history is always important. So if you have a family history of people passing out or dying for unexplained reasons, that becomes very important. And then the other part also that I've noticed is, um, you know, when you are looking at electrical activity of the heart, I see it a different way than um, most of the doctors do and pick up on little, I, little uh, like ideas and, uh, and evidence that they might be at a high potential for sudden cardiac death. So there's a lot of detail that goes into it, but it's, it, it can be devastating for the patient or the family. Yes, absolutely. Um, so there's a lot of uh, reasons that people can have sudden cardiac death that can be totally preventable with medication. Um, some of them, you just have to be uh, cautionary. And uh, other ones where, where there is no known treatment, uh, you know, we can implant pacemakers and defibrillators, so when they do go into it, um, you know, they could be saved. So essentially, there'll be uh, a device that kind of watches them 24-7, 365, and in the event that it happens, you know, it could definitely save somebody's life, and we see that over and over again.